Hello everybody, how we doing? How we doing? My name is Quantic Flux and today we're going to be checking out the demo for a game called The Dark Cave. It is a strategy game where um, every movement you make is limited. You're on a three by three grid. And uh, once you run out of movement, you start using health to move. It seems very difficult, very strategic, and it sounds like a lot of fun. So without further ado, why don't we head on in and check it out? Choose your character to start the game. He's an excellent knight with powerful battle abilities and fearless courage. He excels in wielding all kinds of weapons. Okay. Cover one HP at the end of battle. Sounds useful. Uh, she's an elf living in the forest. She's not only resourceful, but also good with poison. In three extra moves at the end of battle. Okay. Hmm. All right. He is a phantom from the ancient times. In his past years, he collected a great amount of souls, which make him extremely powerful. Every time you use a skill, the spirit layer minus one. Each spirit layer makes attack skills plus one damage and support skills minus one cooldown. Okay. Huh. Uh, that sounds complicated. This one sounds mildly difficult. Let's go with the easy probably one. <laughs> At least while we're not sure what we're doing. Okay. These are your moves. Each time you move, one move will be cost. When you have no move, you take one damage for moving. These are your potions. Using potions won't cost any turn. Okay. Uh, these are your skills. However, the... Sorry, hover the cursor above the skill in battle to check the skill casting area information. Using a skill counts as one turn. You can have up to five skills. These are the move buttons. You can move to, per, to position the enemies in your skill attack areas or dodge enemy attacks. Moving... Counts as one turn as well. Okay, so there's some obvious translation issues and some weirdness with letters here, like you zing. <laughs> but uh, hopefully that'll get worked out. This is a demo, so let's not judge it too harshly. You guys are both moving. Uh, by moving, I mean waiting. Okay. Cooldown of four turns. Two damage, so it's not even going to kill. I think we do this. Enemy actions are divided into three steps. Wait. No action will be done. Track. Move to a position where it can attack the player. Charge. The icon will flash and it will attack in the next turn. Hover the cursor over them to see their attack areas and information. Okay. Well, you're going to die, so that doesn't matter. Okay. So here's the problem. We want to advance the turn... Is there a wait command? Doesn't seem to be. Um, okay. I guess we'll do this. And now the problem is that we're kind of... Uh, we have to move. So I guess we'll do this. And then this. We need more abilities is the problem. Huh. It's going to hit us if we move back, though, in order to hit with that. So we might as well do this, save the HP. Ah, cooldowns don't reset. That's a bummer. Okay, get blasted. Okay, we're in a rough situation already. Okay, you helped us. Hmm. It's not going to kill you. Okay. Charging enemy is about to attack. Whether it's a hit or miss, they will end the attack. Click the move buttons to move your character out of the enemy's attack area to dodge the attack. Okay. Okay, I wish I had known that earlier. Okay. Yeah, I see what I did there. 
<laughs> Messed up. Okay. Uh, potion. Choose one enemy to cast three layers of poison. Take damage by the number of poison layers at the start of the turn, and then the layer minus one. Okay, so what? Six poison damage? Sure. Angel. Are you... What are you? Cover 10 H... Sorry. Cover HP plus half. Move plus 10. Gain one skill. Shield. Is that adding cleanse to my bow and arrow and increasing the cooldown? Because if so, I don't want it. Gain two shield when entering battle. Um, hmm. I think this is adding cleanse to my bow, which I don't want. Or I guess I should say I wouldn't mind, except that it seems to be increasing the cooldown by two. Okay. Can I get multiple? No. Blacksmith, hello. Plus three damage, minus one damage whenever it's used. Resets when the battle ends. Hmm. I think I'd be okay with that on the... Uh, the bow. This two damage is not helpful to me at the moment. Okay, we got shield. Okay, but now... Now this is not enough to kill you. Okay, Botus. I mean, shield doesn't seem to go away. Die. Now, you don't really want to start off a wave with nothing, but, uh... I mean, what can I do here? Oh, you just hit everything, huh? This shows how many ways of enemies there will be in this battle. When a battle, when the enemies are limited to the battle, and then, excuse me, why am I? Where's my shield? Is that a one-time thing? Because if so, that was horrible. <laughs> Ouch! This resets at the end of a level, not at the end of a room, like I thought. That's a lot worse. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage. Can't help but notice. Ouch, dude. Die. Stop doing that, <laughs> you piece of garbage. Yeah, we're in big trouble. Our um, bow is functionally useless. Choose one enemy to deal two damage and cast two layers of poison. Okay. Next layer is money or something. Upgrade, probably. Freeze. Frozen target can't move. Each turn, minus one layer. Each enemy dying from poison will recover your HP by one. That's cool, but we only have poison through potions at the moment. I think we gotta get a skill. The poison thing would have been cool to have, though, for sure. Uh, okay. Mr. Blacksmith. The skill casting target became the horizontal and vertical lines. What? And max cooldown plus four. I don't know what that means. Skill casting target become the horizontal 
and vertical lines. Is it saying it's turning into like a plus shape? What the... What shape do you have already? Target is all. Okay, so that's not at all helpful. I'd like to refresh. Deal extra damage by 20% of the target's current HP and max cooldown plus two. Okay. I think for something that's hitting everything, I'd like it that. Okay. Let's go for the extra reward, I think. Let's get this cooldown going already. You're healing. I hate that for me. How about... Don't do that. Okay. We killed that way too fast, and now we're going to have to run around in this wave. Which is a bummer to be sure. Got a barbarian, which I hate for me. The bright side is we're one-shotting all these. Oh my god. Okay, you're not a barbarian. Good. Okay, we're going to take damage if I do this, though. Hmm. We can't wait four turns to kill this guy again. So we have to nerf the damage on that. I kind of regret the damage thing I did. Definitely don't regret this thing, though. It's freaking cool. <laughs> Um, you seem to all be frozen, which is good. I'd like to get up there and murder this guy. Okay, we're taking... Taking damage for sure. And this guy's gonna heal. Means we're not killing the Barbarian. Probably gonna die here. Um... Here's what we do. This doesn't take a turn. Use that on you. Use this on you. Dodge. Good. Okay, you guys are in an annoying pattern. Die. Okay, we're gonna start running out of movement very soon. Not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, yikes. Move plus five. Sounds very useful. Whenever you move, deal one damage to the enemy in the matching grid. Okay. Gain shield 2. If you originally have no shield, cooldown minus 2. Okay. Whenever you lose HP, gain 1 shield. Um, I think I'm interested in this just because it gives us a skill we can use to stand in one spot, you know? Hello. Damage plus 2, your HP minus 1 when using it. I don't want that at all. Seems pretty useful. I don't like that it increased our cooldown. Our wave one out of two, not bad. Attack moves to a random empty position. Hmm. I think we do this so they can't move. Never mind. I hate that for me. I am upset that you guys are not staying in the same row. How do I force that to happen? By moving up, I think. 
that didn't do what I wanted. <laughs> Um, hmm. We're kind of in an interesting position right now, actually. Where we can move up and down to do damage, which is kind of funny. I think it was worth using all that movement to do that, to be honest. Hmm. I think it's more important to get rid of you guys. Okay. Okay, that was much easier than any run we had before, or any grid. In shield equivalent to the enemy's number, whenever it's used max, one cooldown until the end of battle. I think that sucks. When you're out of moves, moving won't cost any HP, but will randomly make one skill be in cooldown again. Okay. I think we gotta do this. To be quite honest. Chop, okay. Relics make you more powerful. Elite levels and boss levels will have relic drops too. You can have unlimited relics. Whenever you eliminate a wave of enemies, all skilled cooldowns minus two sounds incredibly useful. All skilled cooldowns minus one? Holy crap. When an enemy dies, there's a 50% chance to gain a move. Wow. These are all incredibly good. Your HP minus one and gain one layer of rage. Damage is doubled. Wow. Support skill was used in the last turn. The demo the damage of that skill is doubled. What? The support skill was used in the last turn. The damage of that skill is doubled? Does it mean this skill, maybe? You have shield, give the target two layers of freeze. Can't move for two turns. Uh, I think that's cool and all. I'm much more interested in these freaking relics, though. I mean, ramen seems great, but I can't afford ramen and CD scroll. I think we do boom, boom, and wish that we had enough for ramen as well. Uh, okay, you're annoying. You have 11 health. Holy. Easy dub. What are you? You're new. So are you. Okay. You're going to heal, which is quite annoying. Can't do anything about it, though. Die. moving the way I thought you would. And neither are you. Hey, dude, you gotta... <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't feel good about that. What are you doing, dude? You're not even trying to attack me, it seems.
Okay. East up. <laughs> that blacksmith hammer, very useful, by the way. Okay, a couple of new units here. We do that. Do this. Ah, okay, you're gonna hit me with wherever I am. It hurts to see. Poison is something we definitely cannot tolerate. So we have to do everything in our power to avoid that. I'm gonna take two damage. Yikes, ouch. I'm gonna take... Well, no, we can move forwards and then go power that up. What is this? About to enhance something? I don't know what that means. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> okay, you're enhancing this guy. You're just, you're just blocking. It's fine. Okay, this should kill the scorpion. Good. So this doesn't actually apply freeze, does it? I should have gotten that other one that does apply freeze if we have shields. If we can get something that does freeze, this is going to be crazy. Um, okay, I think we just do this. Okay. Okay. Not really a reason not to do that. Get wrecked. <laughs> I guess the smarter thing to do would be to use our damagey thing since that gets reset. The two damage to everyone. When one skill kills two or more enemies, recover your HP by two. That's cool. I don't think it's going to happen much, though. Choose one exclusive relic for you. When attacked, deal damage equivalent to your shield to the attacker. Your HP is lower than half. Whenever you kill an enemy, recover one HP. When you give a target freeze, the target has no freeze, layers will double. That's cool, but we don't have a way to freeze. Um... And we take so much damage from from attacks that I don't think this is going to do anything. So Mage Blood, I guess. Chapter two, inner layer of the cave. Okay. All right. I think it makes sense to just myrtleize you. Um, move here, kill this dude. We kind of want to try and keep our shield, and also using this is going to make it so, um, the cooldown is five instead of three. So I think we just do this. And I don't feel great about this, but we're going to do that as well. I think that's a new unit, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do this. Do that. And what are you doing here? Can't use attack skills. It is rough. Also, our shield went away. Hmm. I think we... stuff i think we stay here use this so that this guy starts to attack so we can move out of it and then hmm do this boom 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 okay we took one damage that's fine kind of getting cornered here i think we do this kill you 
three damage. This only gives two shield. Okay, and now we just fertilize. Okay. 19 out of 25. Not bad. Use one enemy to deal four damage. Sounds good. Hello, Angel. Each one layer of freeze a target has cooldown minus one. We got this cool freeze build adjacent thing, but we don't have anything that does freeze, which is rough. Base damage is three. That's not cutting it. We use a skill in the center of the area. The skill have one less cooldown. I'm not going to remember that, but let me grab it. Hello, blacksmith. Skill kills the target, reset the cooldown of the skill, and max cooldown plus two. Um, that feels not very good. I don't want that. When you use it, remove all your debuffs and max cooldown minus two. I mean, plus two, sorry. Now, if I use it and I don't have any cooldowns, does it... I feel like it still increases the max cooldown. Skill will be cast one extra time. Gain two layers of disarm. That's fine. I think on this guy, that's, like, kind of crazy. It doesn't increase the uh, cooldown at all. Okay, not as good as I had hoped because it's 20% of the current HP. That's my bad. We're disarmed. That's true. Okay, I think mistakes may have been made. <laughs> How many stacks of cool or disarmed do we still have? Two, right? I don't see that anywhere. Ah, on me, on myself. Okay. I think we just do this. We got enough potion slots. I mean, we've got no potion slots left. I can't talk today at all. <laughs> okay. Slime guy. What, uh, what just happened? We won somehow? I don't know. I don't understand what happened there. <laughs> Did I kill them all somehow with this? Not sure. Kill an enemy, you gain one strength. Each strength increases the skill damage by one. Horizontal and vertical lines. That's a pretty cool targeting type. Attacking with enemies with a debuff, damage plus one. Not super helpful to me. I don't think this is great either, though. It's got a huge cooldown. I guess it's AoE, which is kind of nice. I don't know, kind of looking for, like, a good skill. I think we got to go to the shop, right? Crap, I thought... I didn't think it was immediate, to be honest with you. That was going to be after we got some extra stuff. We get a debuff. The layer is minus one. Each strength. Strength plus one, okay. We remove three times. The next move won't cost any moves. Sounds very good. Horizontal line and give the target two layers of freeze. Sounds useful. Each has one enemy. What? Gives one layer of freeze? Each has one enemy. What? I'm not sure, but it hits all and it freezes, so I'm going to get it. Um, extra reward, sure. All right, let's see what this means, I guess. For, okay, so it's saying for the number of enemies, you get extra freeze. That's gonna, yeah, kill everything. <laughs> Holy. Okay, we made a combo. Got a bunch of new enemy types. What do you got on you? Receiving attack damage deals damage back. I hate that. You're attacking everywhere. What 
take a large amount of damage. Okay, never mind. That missed for some reason. Wait, what just happened? All our stuff went on cooldown? Is that what this guy was about to do, probably? Ooh, now you're attacking in a weird direction. Okay. Okay, things definitely got spicier. Die. And I think you're about to um, put all my stuff on cooldown, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of makes me think I should use this. Yeah. Not only did you just put it on cooldown, you made the cooldown extra long. You are quite annoying, my friend. I think you need to die first. Also, all our shield is gone for some reason. Hmm. I'd like to get out of here without using these two cooldowns, but I don't think that's possible. Uh, we're going to use this here. Quite annoying, my friends. This is not going to kill. It's only four damage. Ah, uh, boy. We have to do this. Feels real bad. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, this looks not great. Got a bunch of units attacking me at once. I guess only this guy's doing damage, though. I don't think you're enhancing something. Okay, you still hit me. That felt bad. You're doing question mark? Okay. You're summoning. Okay, I hate that for me. <laughs> the bright side is I'm gonna kill everything. Get absolutely destroyed. Wombo combo. I'm a little surprised you lived, I have to be honest. Okay. What do we got? Two layers of block. Sure. If all enemies two layers of poison when entering in battle, holy crap. I think that's only the first room. Your HP minus one, strength plus one. No thank you. Give the enemy freeze when poisoned. Layer plus one. This could mean a couple different things. It could mean when you poison... You freeze, or it could mean whenever you freeze, you poison. I, I'm not sure. Either way, I think it's probably pretty good. Okay. Skill casting target 
Yeah, we saw that one. I don't like it much, to be honest. It might make this hit the entire freaking area, though. I did not mean to do that. I meant to enhance. Whenever you use it, gain one shield and max cooldown plus one. I guess. I don't think that's doing what I think it does. I think it gave a max cooldown plus one. And then whenever I use this, it gives an additional shield. We'll have to see, though. Okay, so you're all poisoned, so we're kind of incentivized to just not, um, not use our wombo combo here. Why don't we just do this, then? Okay, you can kind of hit from anywhere, which is a little annoying. That's extra annoying. Okay, cooldown's not seven, so yeah, it's a one-time cooldown increase. What is this? You're self-destructing for five, huh? I hate that for me, but I'm going to use this. So get wrecked. You idiot. Okay, and now we wombo combo. Yeah, that's pretty good. Who's more annoying? I don't know what either of you do, to be honest. Right, I forgot about that. <laughs> what are you doing here? You debuffing me? You're attacking anywhere? Okay, I hate that. Die. What the, uh, what'd you do here? Strength minus one. That's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay. Okay, we got that relic after all. Kill an enemy, you recover one HP, but you're really weak. Gain three skill removals. Okay. Sure. I don't know how I tell if I have them, but I trust you, I guess. Okay, what do we got? When do you get a debuff? Random skill gets minus cooldown. We use a skill as a 30% chance to gain a move. Hmm. I don't like any of these. Shield doubles, your HP minus one. Meh. Gotta be honest, I don't want any of this garbage. When attacked by the enemy, damage plus one and all skills cooldowns minus two seems good. You get a debuff, the layer minus one. The end of each battle, a relic drop is guaranteed. Can't afford you. I wish I could. This does damage equal to the number of targets in the horizontal and vertical lines, sounds like. Which is wrong. Well, is it? Even if you get three, it's not that great. I really want this gold ring, but I can't afford it. So, I guess we could take this. Three waves. Okay. It's tough because you kind of want to use your, especially in three waves, you want to use your wombo combo at the beginning so it's available for the third one. But uh, when they're poisoned like this, they're taking six damage guaranteed. I think it's kind of a waste. Okay. Hmm. 
don't think I can move in such a way that it'll make you move here. I think we just do that. Attack in the entire map. That's quite annoying. Why are we getting five now? It was weird. You're attacking the entire map again. Okay. I wish that you wouldn't. But I can't do anything about that. Jerk. Okay, wombo combo time. My goodness. <laughs> Get absolutely destroyed. Um, I don't know what you do, and it kind of makes me want to kill you first. Pierce. I'm not entirely sure what that does. Unable to gain shield. I see. That's quite annoying. Okay. Die. <laughs> you idiots. Oh, we just won. <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. Okay. Uh, it seems like it's going to have maybe a rogue light uh, talent tree at the end. I think the game's really neat, though. Um, would I say it's too easy? Not necessarily. I think it depends on what's offered to you. Like, we made a crazy combo there, and I think we could have done it sooner as well. I mean, this this is definitely better because it's for every enemy you get one extra freeze. But we could have done this earlier as well because yeah we could have enabled this if i had understood what it meant um but yeah i think the game is cool i like that there's different characters that do different things i think that's neat um i appreciate that they have their they have their own exclusive relics as well to kind of give you an idea of what types of builds they should be doing i'm surprised that the knight is good at freeze to be honest but uh it is interesting and uh, yeah, I think it's a cool little game. Um, I'd love to see more, but um, not in a negative way, but I think that's a positive thing. Like if I enjoy your game so much that I want to see even more of it, um, I think that's great. But yeah, more characters, more relics would be cool, more talents. Um, but I think the devs did a great job uh, and I think the game is very promising. I encourage you to check it out yourself. I'll put a link in the description below. And if you're interested in the game, you should wishlist it because it helps out developers a lot. Um, if you want to help me out a lot, I'd appreciate it greatly if you left a comment and or a like. Help me out a bunch. And uh, if you want to see more from me, my name's Quantic Flux. I put out a video every single day in the Check It Out series, which you just watched, where we check out a new, usually indie, usually roguelike game, though we do mix it up on occasion. And if that sounds like something you'd like to see more of, then I'd be happy to have you subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate your time. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.